In this video, we are going to show you how to set up your Intrepid device for video logging using VehicleSpy. Video data will be collected from an Access Network camera using VehicleScape DAC. Before getting to that, make sure to have the following items. Supported Access IP camera, NeoVi device capable of logging over Ethernet, Ethernet cable, Ethernet to USB adapter, only needed if you cannot connect to your camera over network, Access IP utility software from Access website, link in the description below. Once everything on the list has been checked off, open the Access IP Utility software. Do this by double-clicking on the downloaded program. The main Access IP Utility window will open, selecting the camera that needs setup by clicking on it, then open up the web portal from the camera by clicking on the house icon. If the camera does not show up, push the refresh button. Once the web page is opened up, select Setup in the top right corner of the screen. If credentials are required, enter root as the username and the password for the camera under Password. Then click on Users. Finally, check the box next to Allow Anonymous Login, and then click Save at the bottom of the screen. Wait for the page to reload before closing out of the window. The Access IP Utility will be up after closing the web portal, Make sure that the same camera is selected, then click the Networking button. In the Assign Network Parameters window that pops up, click on the Assign the following IP address, then fill in the form with the following. IP address 192.168.2.x. The X can be any number from 1 to 8, depending on how many cameras are being used. Subnet mask. 0. Default router 255.255.255.254. Finally, click OK. This will save the changes made to the camera, making it ready for video logging. If more than one camera is being set up, repeat the steps above for each camera. In Vehicle Spy software, go to Measurement and select Vehicle Scape DAC, then click on the Standalone Logging tab. Next, look for Ethernet DAC slash filter about halfway down the VehicleScape DAC page. Under Ethernet DAC slash filter, make sure the video button is pushed down. After that, adjust the three video settings to whatever suits the particular needs of the project at hand. Remember that higher resolution and higher frame rate will take up more space on the SD card during logging. Set up the rest of the standalone logging settings to the needs of the project. For more information, watch our standalone logging tutorial or visit vSpy3 documentation. Scroll to the bottom of the standalone logging tab and find Generate. Click on Generate to open the Core Mini window. In the Core Mini window, make sure the correct hardware is selected, then push the Send button at the bottom of the page. Once this is completed, close the Core Mini window. The NeoVi device is now ready to start logging video. To extract your video, go to Tools and select Extract slash Export View. Under the Extract tab, click the Advanced Settings button. In the Advanced Settings window, click on the Advanced tab. Then make sure that the Generate Video from Extracted Images box is checked. Push OK when finished. Finally, click on View Output Directory and open the folder containing the extracted data. In this folder, the Extracted Data folder, click on Video, then on cam underscore x. x will be the number assigned to 192.168.2.x. Then on AVI. This is the final video from the logged video. From here, the video can be edited, saved, and more. This is just a quick overview of video logging in Vehicle Spy software. To learn more about Vehicle Spy, please read our full documentation at intrepidcs.com slash vspy.